So today, I'm going to start this video off with a recreation of my first time playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Oh, shit. This shit better have fucking Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Is that a trumpet? Okay. Yo, bro, come here, come peep this, come peep this. Okay, oh. oh this is a slap right here. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, even better. Okay. Okay. Oh, what is this? Okay, where we going? Where we going? Alright, alright, I'm down, I'm down. What the fuck? Okay, you gonna say something else? You, you know, <clears throat> songs have lyrics. Oh, uh, uh, fuck, shit. I don't... Alright, fuck this shit, I'm going for a ride. Probably not exactly how it happened, but you get the idea. Your boy Dan was fully immersed in that soundtrack and ready to get his ass beat by everybody online because that's all that happened for about three months till I got decent at the game. But we're not talking about gameplay today. Jesus Christ, that intro. I don't think most would be surprised with me starting with this one song. Not really proud to admit I haven't finished the Kingdom Hearts game, but this song, the soundtrack for this game in general is just, it's just one of those tracks that I imagine inspired a bunch of young gamers in this generation to really become gamers, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at me, I never even played these games and this song still means so much to me. I can only imagine what someone that played through the whole series and is waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3 to never come out, like, for them this song must be a fucking holy grail. And I feel like anyone grabbed by this song should give Yoko Shimomura a big thank you for being the composer for the three main games. I also feel a lot of games took direct inspiration from the theme music here, and you can see it in a few titles. Ori and the Blind Forest is one of the games I'm talking about that really captures, like, the same vibe from Kingdom Hearts. As you're watching this video, you'll probably notice a lot of direct connections between the vibe of the music in the menu to the vibe of the initial start of the game. Ori in the Blind Forest with like a dark start and then Kingdom Hearts with dark parts in the story. All the best games in my opinion have a strong synergy between its soundtrack and its gameplay. And the next game on our list definitely leads by example. This is just the intro to the song and it 100% sounds like the fucking picture. I don't even know if that makes sense, and to be honest, I don't care. Doom's soundtrack is probably the best killing thing soundtrack you'll ever hear. Me speaking on it won't even give it full justice, I'm just gonna let the rest of it play for like 30 seconds. To be honest, I couldn't tell you a song more badass than the Doom theme. I can't even think of another menu song or intro song that connects to its themes as well as Doom does. To be honest, I couldn't find like a hard rock or metal song even compared to the Doom theme for this video. Tough competition. I mean, don't get me wrong, you got Sonic Adventures Open Your Heart. You got every wrestling game ever made. But you know, maybe you're not into metal. Maybe you're trying to bop. Maybe you're trying to hear some smooth beats. You know what I'm saying? I got a little something for y'all. Oh, shit, shit. Y'all remember that? Oh, 
Wait, hold on, hold on. I got a better one for you. Hey, yo, Jim, man, why don't you, why don't you kick some of that, you know? You, you know how you do it, man. It's a trip. People don't even believe we're together right now. But, but, but tell your story. You know the one I like. Say it for me. Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm. The Need for Speed series was great for menu music and just overall soundtracks. Two I chose to use just so happened to be the most popular and most remembered. I don't want to hear no shit like, yo Dan, you're using licensed music. Yo Dan, this shit don't count. Fuck you. A good menu song is just meant to prep you for what you're about to do. To be honest, I could go on for hours talking about menu music and just gaming soundtracks in general, but I really want to make a series out of this, so I'm going to hit you with one more to leave you with, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you stuck around this far, please leave a like, a comment, uh, drop a subscribe if you haven't, hit that bell button if you haven't, all that good shit. And now, for my end card, I'll leave you with one of the most iconic things from gaming.